They are back at it with Necromunda, and I'm a little bit worried about this one, because just from a glance, it seems kind of normal and not really weird. I think at this point we kind of have an accepted formula for Necromunda characters, for hired guns. It's usually someone who is a bit weird, a little bit of a freak, just someone who's a bit out there and a bit odd, and I'm a little bit worried because this time round, this one seems deceptively normal. They aren't like a floating potato man, there's no weird growths or odd choice of outfit. Seems relatively, relatively like an actual person, which is frankly, kind of alarming. This is the last in question, and this is a mind-locked weird who is part of the criminal Psy Syndicate cartel, which is an amazing concept, and I love it. Bit of classic unsanctioned psycher action, and they have to do what they're told, which, I mean, that's not really all that dissimilar to the ones that are sanctioned, if we're really honest, is it? Well, I suppose technically they belong to the Imperium, not to the Psy Syndicate cartel, which, even by name alone, you assume, not good guys, you know? Because, you know, the Imperium are totally the good guys. So, here she is, all, all like, normal 5'11 or so of her? I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell height, she stooped over. Also, there are no good guys. The Imperium aren't the good guys, there aren't any other good guys either. There's no one, there's no one, it's all, it's just a massive hellhole and you know it. Anyway, before we have any more derailing, this is the mind-locked weird and, honestly, it's a cool model. I'm just, it just feels like it's been a while since we've had something that hasn't been a creepy little freak for Necromunda and I'm just struggling to, struggling to know what to do with... Someone who's just relatively normal. I mean, yeah, we've got some glowing eye action. It looks like it looks like there might be a bit of some sort of implant thing going on the side of the head, but nothing completely mad. She looks like a relatively normal denizen of a admittedly awful hive world, but I don't know. It's pretty cool. It's a good pose. Very, uh, pr very Professor X pose. Got some cool little details like the knee pad on one side. I really like the boots. The boots are cool. The weird kind of the top almost looks like it's like half a sort of vest top but then you've got these other straps going over across like the collarbone which is i don't know it breaks it up a little bit it makes it look interesting i'd love to be able to get like a better look at the underside of the staff because it looks like it's a metal skull with a kind of stylized rib cage wrapping around the back all the way around to the front which is which is pretty cool i do like that a lot the coat is fantastic that is a quality coat look at the back of that coat i want to paint that coat that is, that's a 10 out of 10 coat. I love the fact you've got like the fur lined front as well as though it's kind of got like uh, fur lapels going all the way down. It's got some really nice kind of mixing of textures and patterns and surfaces. I like that a lot. The hair is pretty cool. It's not, I don't know. I feel like the, I feel like the front view is a little bit better. It looks kind of clumpy from the back, which is just a limitation of, you know, trying to sculpt individual hairs, not really a thing. But I do think that it definitely looks better from the front. Not that it looks awful, just... I don't know, it seems to lose a bit of its coherence at the back. I think the thing that's kind of flapping around on one arm was a sleeve at some point. But it's a little bit hard to tell. That's one thing I'm just not sure about. I think, I think maybe it was a sleeve and it's kind of been torn away. And it's just sort of flapping about in the, uh, I assume, sigh-induced wind. But it's... I don't know. It, it kind of is a bit tricky to really pass. It sort of just looks like random shape thrown on there, which I guess kind of makes sense in terms of if it's ripped cloth, it's going to be all over the shop, but I don't know. I don't know whether it adds anything. I think it just confuses me from the back. Overall, despite being relatively normal, quite a good-looking model, I think. The thing is, they couldn't just leave it at her because there needs to be something odd going on, so they have also shown off these, which are cephalopod spectres and they are brilliant look at them this is the kind of creepy weird that i that i'm that i'm here for when it comes to necromunda they have got purple brains sticking out of the back of them all the kind of cables the little singular limb on a couple of them and then you've got this kind of carapace segmented armored section at the front oh yeah Oh, I love it. These are Delac nightmares, obviously, because Delac, they love, they love a bit of exposed brain, do the Delac. These fit in nicely with their floating squid thing that they have, 
And there was another one that sort of had like really long arms as well. I forget the name of it. Oh, it's right there. The Knacked Ghouls. That's what it was. It's such a good faction. They're so creepy. They're so weird. I like. I really like this as well, by the way. This is, this is a good article anyway, but are they robots? Are they organic? Are they deeply unpleasant? Yes to all of the above. This is why I love it. This is why I love the Necromunda range. They know what they're doing. They're perfectly aware. They're very aware as to how weird and off and creepy it looks. And they're 100% in. And they want to keep doing it. And I want them to keep doing it because it's fantastic. I love these little lads. They are solid. They're creepy. They're off-putting. But they're also really fun and a little bit cute. I mean, just all the boxes. They ticked all of them. The thing is, it's not just those as well. They're like, they've really piled a lot into this article, into this kind of reveal. There's also an upgrade pack for the Vansar for the Ash Wastes. So now if you want your Vansar to look even more weird and insectoid, you can because they have a bunch of helmets, with most of them having too many eyes. Name two things more iconic than Vansar and having too many eyes. Don't know what their obsession is with making themselves look like flies and spiders, but you know what? I appreciate it. I mean, let's be honest. If you could have a helmet that had two eyes or eight, what would you go for? Uh, actually, no. Seven? No, wait. Is that actually nine on one of them? Look, there's a lot going on, all right? There's a lot going on here. They all look good, though. They really look good. I'd love to see those heads on, like... Oh, the... some of those heads on the uh, on the Reavers, the Phobos armor Space Marines... That, that would look pretty cool. Ooh. Oh, that's an idea. The only thing is, this is all resin, I think. I think this upgrade pack is all resin, which means it will be fairly expensive. We've also got some backpacks. I think they're very high-tech. I do like how they're very high-tech, but they also utilize the time-honored method of wrap a belt around it and hang your stuff off it. I mean, that they're still managing to keep the ash waste aesthetic whilst also showing off how weird the Vansar are. So I think they've done a good job with that one. And just to confirm, yes, both of these kits are made of resin, so the Mindlock Weird and the Cephalod Spectres, they are together by the look of things, and they have rules in the House of Shadow supplement, whereas the Vansar stuff, it's, it's just aesthetic. That's another pretty good Necromunda reveal. Pretty good. Not as weird as some we've had, but overall, still solid. I, I really think between, like, Warcry and Necromunda, they're like smaller skirmish game releases. They just do some really fun stuff with those two systems, in specific they do with kill team as well but because kill team is 40k based as opposed to being well i know necromunda is technically 40, you know what i mean i feel like they can go a bit more wild with necromunda and they tend to to kind of let a lot of the weirder stuff out through that um it's same kind of thing with Warcry. it's like same universe technically as aos but they tend to do things that are a little bit different a bit more fun with it it just makes me look forward to seeing things whenever i see that it's one of those two systems i'm immediately like there's high potential for this to be really different, but still fit, but also be just something a bit more fresh compared to what we're used to seeing for, say, 40k or AOS. And AOS is already a bit mad at times. Well, at times. A lot of the time. It tends to be pretty mad. So the fact that some of the Warcry stuff kind of outmads it is is impressive and i like it anyway apologies for there being a bit of a gap between videos again i am still struggling a bit having had the the old the old rona covid came back and i had it for like three weeks or so and i'm starting to get a bad chest again so i'm trying to take things a little bit easy but hopefully it'll shift soon i mean i'm gonna go to the doctor either way but you know it'd be nice of it left me alone wouldn't it anyway minor health update over thank you very much for watching let me know you think of that lot in the comments down below in the meantime feel free to click all the things patreon video subscribe button stuff click if you like don't give you want to and as always there's an affiliate link in the description for element games there's also an affiliate link for into the am where if you use that link you get 10 percent off your entire order and i get something for sending you there it's a good way to support the channel if you want some fun cool t-shirts and stuff so yeah you can click any of those or none of them it's up to you you do what you like thank you very much for watching i'll see you next time <laughs>